What's up guys? Shuri here and today we are doing Survivor. This is part two of the Guns That Go With Barracuda series and we are going to focus on how the Survivor is one of the best guns to pair with it. It has a piercing hit which gives bleed damage. You do have to be careful with it though because it can make people heal if they have some armor and antidote chest. So one thing to be wary of, but since they have to have armor to heal and not everyone's gonna have antidote chest on all their loadouts, it ends up being a really good thing to have the bleeds. You can shoot multiple targets and have all of them take a lot of damage that way. Or you can just have them take the bleed damage and use that to track where they're going to be. It also does a ton of damage and shoots really fast, which is always a bonus. But using bleed damage to track where people are going is a really big thing that a lot of people don't really use the way they should. So just one thing you might want to think about using either crossbow or this or really anything that has that damage over time effect is to get a better angle than what you have already and use the bleeds or damage over time to see where your opponent's going to go. It can help you get a lot better positioning and ensure that you win a lot more gunfights. One thing with control points is you need to make sure that you're going to have two of the control points. That is much more important than the kills. It is going to be hard to do, but Luckily, I have Uguay on my team, so I've already gotten B, and I'm going to sit right here and help him cap A. So I'm going to make sure that if anyone comes up to A, I'm going to have damage on him for Uguay, and I'm going to go make sure we recap B. I do end up getting a killing spree, and then get a 4 at once, so I'm on a 7 spree. Sadly, right before the unstoppable, I do end up dying. And that 4 at once showed exactly why it the survivor is so powerful is it shoots really fast with really high damage allowing you to get good multi kills and put out a ton of damage for your team so both our teammates have one kill which is a problem sometimes but luckily me and Ugwe are getting a ton of kills so it's making up for it the only bad thing is that when they have stems and they're rushing in our spawn I was having a lot of trouble right here, and it shows. Right here, I thought I was going to kill him, but then he uses Undying. For whatever reason, it does some weird stuff and gives him a super long invincibility time. And because my teammate went up to the left side, I assumed he had killed the guy, but I come out and died to him, realizing real quick that that's not what happened. Luckily, he did end up making it to C, even though he didn't cap it, it did stop them from having the 3 cap, which stopped the bleed of points, which is super important. Right there, I was able to kill him with the bleed damage from my survivor, showing why that is one really good thing that the survivor does, because it was able to give us the kill. The problem is, they were able to get the 3 cap back, which is why I ran out with some urgency. I got him low using the fast shooting of survivor, and then I was able to use a throwing knife, Luckily, I was able to snipe him, take down his undying, and then kill him with the survivor, allowing me to use my daredevil to one-shot Kuda, the last guy, for a double kill to win the game. And this is directly after that game we just played on Atrium. Me and Ugwe have a lot of the same people in this game as last game. I'm going to go ahead and keep everyone off Ugwe's back while he gets the orb, and I am able to keep them back with Sniper. And when he does end up rushing me, the quick firing abilities of the survivor ends up getting him low enough that Ugwe is able to kill him while staying alive. Ugwe is doing a great job to use his undying there and stay alive. While I do my best to get everyone low so my teammate has an easier time of killing people. Luckily, we are able to kill everyone except for the one that gets past me. He does end up killing Ugwe and getting the orb, but I'm able to go shoot them in the back and maintain a lot of damage on everyone that tries to get the orb. I'm using the survivor with a ton of damage to make sure that our team has a really good position on the orb. I end up actually running out of survivor ammo because I was able to shoot so many people with it. That's why I went to backup of Joker. 
but I was taken down eventually because I was really just trying to suppress people back so my team could get the orb. When I end up spawning, I go back to my survivor Kuda, and I'm able to take two of them out and get the only remaining guy pretty low with my survivor because even from medium to long range, it does a ton of damage. Right here, I kill a guy in the front, so I'm gonna go sneak in the back. I do a really good quick scope with the Kuda and hit him with my survivor. I end up getting them both and then sniping the third guy in the head with my Kuda across the map, getting him really low. This is gonna be really good. And right here, I'm able to tag him with my survivor. That way I know exactly where he's gonna be going. It ends up healing him because he has antidote, but it does tell me where he's going to be, and that's going to be very important. He ends up killing himself on me with a rocket because he's kind of a douche. I accidentally end up going scout, so I'm going to go ahead and get the orb. He ends up rocketing me, and I'm going to go try to push out and kill the low guy with my scout. I do end up getting the double, and I see another one get lit up, so I end up going for the triple. And even though there's only three people, I end up going for the four at once. As he rockets me, I do kill him for the four at once, and I'm about to get the five at once. Sadly, our teammate ended up getting the kill, so only a four at once. But it's all good. I end up dying shortly after, going back to the survivor Barracuda, and I'm just doing a ton of damage with my Barracuda, and ended up getting all the kills with survivor because doing long range damage with the Barracuda, and as soon as they get into survivor range, I switch and kill them with it. It is a really good range that Survivor ends up having that just happens to work perfectly with Kuda and just the way people rush to end up working out where they come right in my range every time I need them to. And on this map, we're going to be rushing through. Uguay is going to come in the back, and I'm going to just try to get as many low as possible with my bleeds. I end up getting too low and killing one. Uguay comes around the back, getting a really good triple kill, and I'm going to spawn push back up and just try to help Uguay in any way I can to repel them from pushing the cart. I do get the first kill and I'm going to have to wait patiently with my survivor. I do end up getting the kill and I'm going to just try to keep moving forward. We do end up getting the kill and he tries to rocket me. Luckily it hits Uguay and not me because I'm a terrible friend and would rather him die to rockets than me. But after I end up getting the kill with my survivor, I do get a double snipe. Sadly, Things end up going bad because he bow camps me and I get really sad. So I'm going to push up, end up hitting him with a snipe, killing him with my survivor, and I see a guy coming from the bridge, so I'm going to try to make sure that I'm in a position to be able to kill him. I end up sniping him and then kill him with my survivor. Sadly, rockets go everywhere and things just get really toxic really quick. Luckily, I got a lot of rockets and they like to rock it, so I'm gonna rock it. So, now that we're all rocketing, this game got stupid. But we do end up getting a kill because Survivor's really good, and we managed to turn it into a quick scope with our Barracuda, and uh, we ended up losing to a bunch of rockets, but it, it's all good, it, it was still a fun one. This has been part two of Things to Pair with Barracuda, and I'll be posting one video per day about this. This one, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to know about perks for the sniper and how it's all being done, go to the first video, which you can click under thanks for watching. And in the segments, it should say perks. It, that way I don't have to reiterate it for every video, but it's basically the same for all of these. So just go there and hopefully that helps. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I know I sure have, and I hope you have a great day.